Hi everyone, this is Chaplain Burson, and today's thought is on presence. After the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, the U.S. became worried about the threat of Japanese Americans collaborating with the Japanese military. So on February 19, 1942, President Franklin Roosevelt signed an executive order which sent 110,000 American citizens of Japanese ancestry into internment camps. Though some may have felt that it was unjust, at least one person decided that he would do something about it. Ralph Lazo was a Mexican-American high school student in California who had many Japanese friends in school. And when these friends were sent to the Manzanar internment camp with their families, Lazo decided to join them. And so he sat next to them on the train. Though the name Manzanar means apple orchard, in reality, it was a dusty desert. He could have left any time that he wanted to, yet he chose to stay there in the camp where he entertained orphan children, he organized activities to keep other spirits up, and he was even elected class president. He was the only non-spouse and non-Japanese American to be voluntarily sent to any of the internment camps. And in 1944, Rolf Lazo was inducted into the army where he helped liberate the Philippines and was awarded the Bronze Star for heroism in combat. After the war, Lazo spent a career teaching and mentoring disabled students while continuing to fight for justice for interred families, which led to the Civil Liberties Act of 1988 and an official government apology. The book of Job, when Job loses almost everything, Job's three friends aren't the best models of friendship. But what they did do right was to be present. They wept aloud, they tore their robes, and they sat with him in the ashes for seven days without saying a word. The story says that they did this because they saw that his grief was very great. The author and educator Parker Palmer was also the benefactor of pure presence, which got him through a long and dark depression. And coming out of it, he reflected that we must be willing to hold people in a space, a sacred space of relationship, where somehow this person who's on the dark side of the moon can get a little confidence that they can come around to the other side. Ralph Lazo's story is a reminder that when people we care about are in pain, we may not have the right words to say. We may also be powerless to do anything to change an unfair situation. But often, the most powerful thing that we can do is to make sure that they know that they're not alone by choosing to stay by their side and sit in the dust, ashes, and pain with them. Such presence provides a bridge to help us get through to the other side of the struggle. Blessings this week.